Right across the occupied West Bank, there is violence and disorder. These violent attacks come from extremist Israeli settlers who seem to have been granted a license to roam free, attack, kill, maim, desecrate, vandalize, bully, and intimidate. They have the full protection of the Israeli military. At least 10 Palestinians have been killed in October, including six children as a result of this tension. It follows a general increase in attacks over the past several months that saw the UN call 2021 a year in which Palestinians had to endure, and I quote, the highest recorded levels of settler violence in recent years. This is the facet of Israel's system of, of oppression that most clearly shows its inherent racism and discrimination. Illegal settlers are subject to civilian law. Palestinians are subject to martial law. Separate laws for separate peoples mean one thing and one thing only, apartheid, a situation in which one set of people have more rights than another set of people. That is the reality of Israel's occupation of Palestinian land and the Palestinian people. Israelis have granted themselves by the peril of the gun more rights than the land's indigenous population. And that lies at the heart of what we see today where unhinged mobs of extremists, thugs, roam the streets.